Welcome back to Lord of the Rings Rise to War. So today we're going to be getting right into Sirnan. He's a tier 3 commander on the good side faction. And we're going to be reviewing is he a good commander or is he someone you should leave be. Uh, I've been playing for 6 seasons on the good side. So I have plenty of experience with good side commanders. So let's get right into it. So Sirnan is a tier 3 commander who has the leader title. I'm not a fan of leaders. I feel like it's the worst title for a commander to have. Uh, um, but he does buff his army a lot. But I don't think it's that much, as I'll, we get in, we'll get into later. So when we look at him, the first thing you'll notice is that he has okay stats. If they're not fantastic. They're not great. Um, he has nothing that stands out overall. His focus is up there. Don't get me wrong. But there are different commanders who get better focus than him. Uh, his speed is also up there. So, But I don't think he has any skills that are modified. Oh, no, he does have skills that are modified by his speed stat. Um, so obviously the type of equipment you'll be running are speed and focus-based stuff. I think mainly speed, though, just because of a certain skill that you can unlock with him. Uh, so let's get right into it. So his skills are... So his first skill tree when you get him to level one uh he's good versus evil i'd say I, there are better picks but at tier one you really don't want to use him um he does have white cancel which is good versus anything really i think it's a solid thing it's about 30 to 40 percent damage reduction depending on your focus stat very useful uh for taking those first five hits first four hits of damage uh his high alert very good versus evil faction as well as champion of light very good versus evil faction unless you're fighting evil men then it's not really as effective if you're fighting one of those guys but a good evil counter for his first skill now this skill is really interesting um so i was doing the numbers and it's right around 110 to 120 percent damage increase for your units so each round there's a 30 elves each round there's a 30 percent chance for elven units to gain 110 percent damage uh that's with the modified speed stat increased um involved in the calculations uh that was the testing that i did and a 30 percent chance is good but it's not great um it's definitely nice on round one to see your sharpshooters gain 100 and uh 10 percent 120 turn it on your speed stat damage buff and hit an enemy for you know a, basically an extra attack um he has access to cls i don't like this skill i wouldn't touch this it's round seven onwards so seven eight nine ten uh you will remove a debuff and uh remove a buff from the enemy army the first five rounds of the game is the most important um i feel like if you are losing after going into round six it's probably going to stay that way if not get worse for you um outflank uh wouldn't touch it against enemy range units unless you're maybe fighting uh good side range units often you can might use it but a two percent for one skill is just not worth the value of a skill point uh, if it was three percent maybe but two percent is just not enough 14 percent at max is just not good enough for me his third skill tree I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So your long shots, the tier four, uh, special units, um, on their turn, they on the turns that they ain't doing damage, so they attack on, I think, one, four, uh, I can't remember. I know they go one, one, two, they do one, four, seven, and probably nine or ten. It's something like that. They only attack four times around, and on the rounds that they aren't doing damage, they take less damage. But the whole thing is that with archer units is you usually are prepared with a front line uh, to protect them of some sort. Um, so I just really don't see this skill, especially a 15 point skill, reducing the damage by only 30%. That's not a lot. 30% damage reduction for 15 points for an archer unit that isn't that you don't want to get hit in the first place. So I just really don't like this skill too much. Um, and what sucks is... Uh, I think it has a, a, a turntable. 
So it's on round three is when it's, it starts doing it. So on round two, I think they, when they get hit, they'll still take just as much damage. So I, it, it's just not a good skill. Don't touch this tier three skill tree. Fire information is good skill for him, but it's you can't touch it because it's hidden behind a really bad skill, a really bad skill. They really need to fix this on him. So obviously when you get him to tier three, he's not going to perform any better. You're not going to be touching that skill too much. Um, so rank five. What happens when you get him to rank five? This is a very interesting. There's about a 75 to 80 percent chance of you gaining one of these buffs for the first five rounds. And at max level, yeah, I mean, he ignores uh, equipment, but I mean, it's not a huge deal. Um, so first five rounds. So I, I did hypothetically. Hypothetically, you're running long shot, right? You're running the special tier four units, right? Hypothetically, the attack on round one, right? So on round one, and would say the gods are in your favor. They give you the 110%. That's insane. So they'll attack two different targets for 150% plus the 110%. And if you could get them to do that on round one with follow-up, so they do it again, you could devastate an army. Okay? I do definitely see the stars aligning on this one, having them get to attack twice with this buff on their turns uh, that they attack. I could definitely see the stars aligning together but since this is a 30 percent chance it, it's right you know it's, it's not very very good now if if follow-up is true if this is granted at the start of each round or is it granted every time the units attack i think it's only granted at the start of the rounds but if it's granted every time a unit attacks like right before they attack they are granted a 30 percent chance of dealing that 110 bonus damage then this skill can potentially, the follow-up, could be beneficial. My problem is, it's only for the first five rounds. But the first five rounds are the important rounds of the game, like I said before. But you could also get Evade, you could clear Debuff, or you could gain Pursuit. And it's like... I don't like it. Because you gain one of the following effects. You gain either follow-up or Evade. One of damage, or one of the damage clear buffs debuffs and pursuit so i think you only gain one out of the four so to get follow-up um you have a 25 percent chance of getting a follow-up for the first five rounds um uh, personally i think i would get rid of pursuit and i would get rid of that debuff because i just prefer evading and just or attacking twice avoid a damage or just do damage and extra damage i really don't like pursuit because that's if you are granted pursuit and the enemy doesn't have pursuit then they just it just wasted it for you if you clear a debuff and you don't have a debuff to clear it just wastes it for you so it's very frustrating and plus it i think it's it, it's not a hundred percent chance of gaining it i think it's only a 75 to 80 percent chance of gaining uh one of those perks so definitely not uh, good but it, i could definitely see the stars aligning with the potential 110 percent damage increase which is nuts it's a lot of damage but it's 30 percent chance i do see the stars aligning uh, uh every like once out of every five games where they just dump on you but <sighs> that's about it i mean you got river's wrath which i don't think is very good that you know the focus damage doesn't do a lot it's nice to stun the enemy army on round six for, for round six but that's it you know, it's, it's just a one point use you know what i mean i don't like it um parting gift is definitely useful uh it's it's modified by his focus stat focus stat so it's a very nice healing buff um so it's definitely a useful perk um so if i were you and you guys this is your only commander and you are devoted to him you, you know him from the movies from the books and then you have like a a, uh, you know an unbiased opinion and you just want him right you want a biased opinion and you want this guy the best build i will consider for you guys to use is white cancel max that out max out this skill max it out i would max out not seals i want to touch seals if you're a fighting evil faction i would recommend dumping it into a uh, high alert if you're not fighting evil faction you're fighting good faction i'd recommend dumping it into uh the shipwright uh, obviously you want to have that maxed out either way and then you want to max out these skill perk uh, you want to max out you don't want to max it out you want for river's wrath you want to put i think three skill points into and i think we'll give you a 75 percent chance to stun i mean it's already a 50 percent seven percent chance so you could just put one into it 
and just you know you still have the odds in your favor but to increase the odds and a little bit of damage or just max it out right if you want the extra damage and a hundred percent chance to stun and then max out parting gift um i would not touch this skill tree just because this middle title is just so bad i don't like it it's it's just like it, on turns when they're not doing when damage is inactive they take less damage and you have to activate it every three rounds and it's like why isn't it just instant if it was instant it could be better but it's the fact you don't activate until round three so on round two when you're vulnerable you're going to start getting you could get smacked potentially or you know what i mean or even round three and you could get potentially smacked on round three by flanking uh or any like uh any perk that targets range units or a commander that just smacks their range units i personally just don't think this skill is worth it i think it's completely garbage um and that will that sums up the commander for me basically. Uh, sea elf. Uh, <sighs> if you unlock him, cool. You have an extra commander to go take tiles. But my opinion at the end of the day, don't put points to him. Scrap his uh, uh, his items into Mathem tickets. I don't think he's good. He looking at his skills and how he's been performing last season when I played with him. I know he's only rank one. Uh, but I was playing against evil with these perks, right? What would be beneficial, and I was still struggling. Like, this perk would only activate, like, maybe six, seven times a game on three different units. Uh, once on three different units, so it wasn't, like, crazy. Um, it was nice getting, you know, six extra normal attacks in, but it's just it just wasn't good. I, I didn't like it. And the Sea Elf thing, when you fight a Witch King or fight anything and or fight someone that's giving you debuffs like a Gandalf, you don't need this. You need it early on. If this was early round, I would I would use it. But I just I don't think he's worth it. I think he's a commander that if you unlock, cool. But if you want to unlock him, I would say no, don't do it. And if you are if you are interested in unlocking him, like you think he's a good commander, I I, I I'd say have fun with him. Okay, do not touch him. He's not good. He's not a good commander. Um, I see. I saw another review on another YouTuber saying he was really good. Oh, he's really good. I'm like sitting here. I'm like, bro, this guy sucks. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> um, uh, I didn't say anything, but I'm just. <laughs> so that's my review. This is Zane's Mobile. Uh, like and subscribe and write down in the comments if I overlooked him. If is he really good, like the other guy said? I don't think he is. Um uh from my experience of playing and the skill set that he has, I don't even think he would be good against evil faction. Um he might be good against one or maybe two commanders, but the overall sum of the commanders that you're gonna fight, he's gonna lose against a lot of them. So that's my video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.